IKEA released a couple new ergonomic office chairs last year that are decent options in addition to their ever popular IKEA Marcus chair. The Hatterfield chair that has a nice minimal and modern design, and the Jar Follet, which is basically a new take on the Marcus. They both include nice adjustable features to fit different body sizes, which I'm happy about, but they're still far from perfect for my comfort, the armrests are still poorly designed, and a couple changes to the recline feature that I don't really like but I think there's still good budget options to try out the next time you're at an Ikea, especially if you can't afford to spend $1,000 on a higher end office chair. Hi, I'm David, and here are my impressions on the two new Ikea office chairs, the Hatafeel and the Jar Follette. Let's start with the big change going from the original Marcus to both of these two new designs, the adjustable features. Adjusting the seat pan depth is an important one for me since the original Marcus lacks this feature and based on my 5 foot 7 height, it's too deep for my legs and rubs the backs of my knees. Both of these new chairs can adjust the seat pan depth with this lever and slide the seat pan further back and leave a more comfortable gap behind my legs. The lumbar back support is also now adjustable on both these new chairs. With the how to feel, you can raise the entire back support higher or lower to match your curve, while on the other chair, opt for this movable pad that isn't the greatest, but it's better than nothing. The jar fillet also adds a simple height adjustment to the headrest that wasn't movable on the Marcus. The tilt recline feature has also been tweaked on both these new chairs. All of these chairs can free recline when unlocked, and now to lock the recline, it's activated by sliding this bar inwards. The Marcus and the jar fillet can be locked in multiple recline positions, which I really like, but the how to feel only allows you to lock it at a 90 degree angle. IKEA has also decided to remove this recline tension knob that lets you adjust how stiff or loose the recline of the chair is. Now it's supposed to dynamically adjust the tension based on your weight, but I really don't like this change and kind of wish they just kept it a manually adjustable feature, because sometimes I just prefer it stiffer or looser. All the chairs are height adjustable, but for shorter people, the Marcus and the Jar Follet are still slightly high even at the lowest setting for me whereas the how to feel is just a bit lower that makes planting my feet on the floor a little more comfortable. With these chairs, you can buy the optional armrest separately, but I didn't buy them because they have the same problem as the Marcus. They don't adjust, and they don't look that comfortable to me. But next, let's talk about comfort. I think they're all pretty comfortable when you first sit in them, but I feel like the Marcus is still the most comfortable of the bunch. Specifically, the seat cushion on the Marcus I feel has a nicer soft plush foam, that's very comfortable over a long session. Whereas the newer chairs both use a firmer, more dense foam that's definitely noticeable. This foam difference alone isn't a major issue for me, but combined with the shape of the seat makes for a very different experience between all the chairs. Both the Marcus and the Jar Follette have a very flat profile that rounds off at the front, while the Hatta Feel has a much rounder, almost oval shape to it that puts a little too much pressure in the middle of the seat for me over a long session. It also has these side lips, which are mainly for aesthetics, that only get in the way if I sit in my chair sideways. For my comfort, I'm not actually a huge fan of either of these shapes. I instead prefer this waterfall edge, which is one of the main reasons I still use my older IKEA Volmar chair. The comfort of the back is also a little different coming from the Marcus to the new chairs. The Marcus has a tall, flat mesh back support that I find pretty comfortable to keep my upper back and head on. The Jar Follette keeps this high back mesh design, but tweaks it with a slimmer frame and slightly rounded shape. I personally find this a little less comfortable because of the slimmer frame, which for people with broad shoulders, that means your upper back and shoulder blades sometimes rest on the stiff frame instead of the softer mesh like it does on the Marcus. The how to feel is completely different with a foam back that only supports the lower back region. Still, I think this lower back support is comfortable enough for working, but less so for lounging around, watching movies, or relaxing. And finally, build quality. All of these have great 10 year long warranties, and IKEA has always been really good with support from my past experience. I think all the chairs are pretty well built, but the Jar Follette uses a lot more plastic bits and components for those adjustable features, which makes it feel slightly less solid. But I wouldn't be too concerned with that, especially with the IKEA warranty. So in the end, I think these two new IKEA chairs are nice budget options in addition to the popular Marcus chair. My recommendation though, try the Marcus chair at a store, and if it fits and you don't need any extra adjustments, 
I'd stick with that since it's cheaper, I find the build quality a little better, and it's more comfortable. But if you're shorter or smaller sized and need the extra adjustment, or just prefer the newer modern design, the new How to Feel or Jar Fillet are great options to try as well. In my opinion, they aren't perfect, but I still think they're some of the best budget options to look at before you need to start needing to spend $1,000 on a new chair, which I'll probably end up doing soon with all these chairs I'm going through. But hope you guys enjoyed this one, you know what to do, and I'll see you in the next video.